Hello there, BlackJT222. This is in response to your question about how to record from the speaker's input uh, since you don't have a microphone. And basically you set it up through the sounds and audio devices properties. Now you can get to that a couple of ways. If you have checked place volume icon on the taskbar like you see here, then you've got this little volume down here and you can right click it and select adjust audio properties and that will bring this dialog up otherwise you can get to this by going to your sounds and audio devices control panel item and that is the exact same dialog as this and once you're in here then go ahead and check that place volume icon in the taskbar thing if you want now the tab you want is the audio tab here if you're getting to it through this means. Uh, there's a third means from Cam Studio itself, um, but I'll cover this first. Make sure your default device is selected right for what you want to do your sound recording from, and click on the volume controls. And you'll see uh, I have stereo mix, line in, and microphone. Now, right now, I'm actually recording from the stereo mix. Um, because I happen to have my uh, audio turned on so that I'm able to hear the line in. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is my master volume controls and there's the line in control has not been muted. So as long as this is up a bit, and yes it's turned way down because it's heavy duty volume coming through this preamp, um, but as long as that's turned up some, I'm able to hear it through that stereo mix control. Okay, and of course I have to have my master volume uh, turned up somewhat too. <laughs> uh, you have to have the wave control set up, turned up in order to hear like from iTunes and things like that. And software synth if you're listening to the MIDI things. Okay, so let me turn that out. Now again, back to this, the recording controls. Uh, I'm doing stereo mix now, but this isn't necessarily visible to you. A lot of people only have the line in the microphone even visible. So you have to go to Options, Properties, and you get this uh, right here. I can select between the input and the output. And as you see, I have a few things that aren't selected here. Now in Vista, you can right click and there's a, uh, a dialog that allows you to show all of the unused ones and that's how you access this kind of a thing, okay? Um, you just check mark those two things that you get from right clicking in the recording controls dialog. It shows you the unchecked ones, so that you can check them. So you might have to do so in order to make stereo mix even appear. If it doesn't show up in this listing, then you don't have it available. Sorry, and uh, you'd have to figure out some other means of getting your sound in, like recording using Audacity or something um, as a separate recorder and then putting the sound overlaid into your video later on. Okay, so now that you have the controls, make sure Stereo Mix is the checkmarked item and you're good to go. Now, barring that, uh, in the Cam Studio options under the audio options for microphone, and that's the one you want, audio options for microphone, even if you're using uh, Cam Studio 2.0, I believe this would be the easiest way to go. Click that, and it brings up the dialog. And here you have the audio capture device. You make sure it's your sound card. And clicking volume, lo and behold, brings up the same volume controls, okay? With the same options and everything. So you can select from here, too. This is the third way to get access to this, right from Cam Studio. All right, so I hope that's helpful and has gotten you where you need to go in uh, setting this sound up so that you can record right from, the, from what you hear on the speakers. Okay, let me know if you have any questions uh, through comments on the video, and I uh, hope you have good success with this. Take care.